What's going on? This is Magic Mitch, and in this food adventure, I'm taking on a huge Belgian burger eating challenge with a ton of onion. You could almost make the case that this is actually a raw onion eating challenge that comes with a little bit of burger. Also during this food adventure, I'm going to be trying out a new sauce on this Belgian burger for the very first time, and I'll also be talking about some possible sabotage that took place during this particular adventure. So there's certainly a lot to go over, but first, this is day 46, challenge number 29 of this tour across the UK and Europe. And for this particular battle at hand, I'm in Tongeren, Belgium, at Chuck Wagon's Barbecue, taking on their infamous burger challenge. Now with this burger, you have a 1 kilogram or 2.2 pound grilled beef patty, and it comes topped with a slew of vegetables. And you've got things like tomatoes, pickles, lettuce, and you also have what could possibly be all the onions in Belgium because, <laughs> good lord man, there was a ton of raw onions on this thing. Anyways, you have all that in between a big old bun, which actually comes from a local bakery nearby. And with this challenge, it does come served as is, so there are no substitutions with this challenge, except for any kind of sauce that you would like to use. And if you're able to complete this big burger challenge within the one hour time limit, you get the following prizes. And check this out. You get the 50 euro meal for free, which is always nice. You get on their wall of fame, which is even better. But here's where it gets interesting. Essentially, anyone at your table gets their food and drink free if it was ordered during the challenge, which that is pretty amazing. And there are a few minor restrictions just so that doesn't get out of hand. Like each table can only consist of four people and I'll have the details in the description down below. But I gotta say, that is one heck of a reward, which is why right out of the gate, I've definitely given this one a thumbs up. I mean, it's an epic prize that has that high risk, high reward quality to it if you wanna maximize the benefit. You can have the opportunity to treat a few of your family and friends to a great meal or not. <laughs> and then end up with a 50 euro bill, but worst of all, you let people down who probably came along with the expectations they were going to get a free meal and show, and now they might just question their relationship with you after. But regardless, I just love the challenge setup for this one. And also, before we get too far along here, I do want to mention this. As far as my overall strategy goes for this burger, there wasn't anything in particular I changed, but with all that raw onion, I kind of decided to take a bit of a gamble here. And that was basically to take all the vegetables I had left once I got past that burger patty and then make myself a big ol' onion salad with the hopes that this new sauce that I was trying would help minimize the punch from all those onions. And you know what? It actually worked out pretty well, which was actually somewhat surprising, especially when you consider how much raw onion I was just shoveling down. It was actually more enjoyable than I expected. And now you're probably wondering what sauce I was using. From my understanding, and I could be wrong here, it's commonly known as fry sauce, aka poor man's shrimp cocktail sauce, which is what I've always heard it called, but essentially, it's a mixture of mayo and ketchup. Now this is not something I'm too familiar with, and I would love to know if you had it before, and if so, what type of food do you have it with, and if you haven't, would you be willing to give it a try? As for myself, I gotta say, it's kind of a shame that I haven't had it sooner, because I found it to be quite the combination, and I'll admit, I was a little hesitant at first, but I became a fan of it real quick. And like I said, it did help a ton with that onion salad I was dealing with. Cause uh, man, there were so many onions. <laughs> Anyways, the main reason I really enjoyed this sauce is because I find it has this quality where it's like the best of both worlds. You get some of the sweetness from the ketchup, but less of that tangy, zesty aftertaste, which can kind of get old after a bit. And all that gets cut by the mayo. And the mayo's fatty oil flavor does get minimized by the sweetness of the ketchup. So really to sum it up, personally, I find it to be a good mix of the two since they balance each other out and minimize flavor fatigue versus if I was going to say have each one by themselves. And it's definitely a combination I'll have to remember to use in the future if I ever need it. So as far as my thoughts went on how I was going to do during this challenge, I felt pretty confident with that one hour time limit I was going to be able to take this thing down, which is why in this particular case, I thought it would be interesting if I went on the optional side quest of trying to set the new record which was just set by Randy Santel with a time of 24 minutes and 29 seconds. But here's the thing. In this particular burger challenge, it seemed like old Randog here was being a bit more chatty than usual. And if you've seen any of his videos, you know that's saying something. And if you asked me, I think he was on a mission here to hinder my efforts in order to keep that record of his. And he'd do so by constantly talking to me in order to distract me from my eating. Chomp mode, chomp mode. Yeah. 
You mixed ketchup and mayonnaise. Yes, Please I did. Tell me you did. I did. I oh did. my gosh, that's so <laughs> gross. I'm trying to talk to him so it slows down. He's on pace to beat my record. And if he gets close, I'll be sabotaged <laughs> at all costs. If I'm not first, no one will. And something I don't think I brought up in my previous video about listening to music during food adventures is sometimes it's not just about jamming out into my own little world, but also to tune out other outside distractions. Unfortunately on this case, I was having a bit of trouble keeping my headphones in and I didn't really want to waste any time readjusting them, so I just tried my best to stay focused and keep on pushing through. Well, it looks like Randy the Saboteur Santel was able to carry out his nefarious plot successfully. <laughs> but let's not focus on Randy, who engaged in this heinous and sinister act and who deliberately sabotaged my efforts to beat his record. No, let's focus more on the positive aspects of this food adventure, like the taste, because I'm giving this one a thumbs up on the taste. Now, of course, with the exception of the overload of onions, this was a pretty solid burger, and even though I didn't eat it as a whole, I can say that I thoroughly enjoyed each part of this challenge on its own. <laughs> Although I didn't get the record, I'll gladly enjoy the fact that I became the first to finish this challenge, then follow it up with push-ups. And if you enjoyed watching this food adventure video, embark on another one, and I'll see you there.